Chelsea are preparing for life without Thiago Silva and the club are shortlisting some of the best young defensive talent in order to build for the future. The 39-year-old centre-back is out of contract at the end of the season and team talk sources suggest that he will finish his career in Brazil. Chelsea scouts have been across Europe over recent months and have compiled a shortlist for manager Mauricio Pochettino. One of the standout names is Sporting Lisbon's Ausmane Diomand. The 19-year-old is understood to have impressed scouts who watched him play for Cote d'Ivoire in their recent 1-1 draw against Morocco. It was only his second international appearance, but he has also been impressive for his club side this season, starting every game so far. Sporting signed him in January from FC Midgilland in a deal worth £7 million and would be unlikely to do a deal just one year on from his deadline day arrival last winter. However, Diomand has a release clause of £69 million and Chelsea could be tempted to activate it as they are not alone in their pursuit of the centre-back. The desire from Pochettino to sign a top striker could prevent the London club from spending big on a defensive option in the winter window, but Diomand is a very realistic target for summer 2024. Sporting have Diomand signed to a contract until 2027 and would demand the whole release clause to sell him midway through a campaign which sees them sitting top of the Liga Portugal table, one point ahead of Benfica. According to journalist Ben Jacobs, Chelsea may have to pay about £130 million to sign Napoli striker Victor Osimhen next year. Jacobs recently reported on his substack that Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis wants a fee as close to €150 million, Euros, £130 million, as possible for Victor Osimhen, who continues to be linked with a move to Chelsea. It's not the type of deal you usually see happening in January, but Jacobs says it can't be completely ruled out and confirms the Blues are interested in the 24-year-old. Chelsea are not afraid to spend heavily in the winter transfer window under Todd Bowley and clearly capital. Of course, the Blues broke their transfer record earlier this year when they signed Enzo Fernandez from Benfica for £107 million, as reported by BBC Sport. That's a huge sum of money, but if Chelsea can spend over £100 million on a midfielder like Fernandez, for example, would it be a shock to see them go all out for a world-class striker? Sure is not. Osman helps you win games, as the Nigerian scored 26 goals and 32 league appearances last season to help Napoli win the Serie A title. In that regard, he is probably one of few players are actually worth over £100 million. With that amount of money, the Nigerian international is still a risk. But risk-taking hasn't really been an issue for Boli and clearly capital since arriving in West London. Chelsea have been dealt a major blow to their hopes of defeating Arsenal following the latest Reese James injury update. The 23-year-old defender has been nursing a hamstring problem since the opening weekend of the new Premier League season. Despite concerns over his fitness, there is hope that James will be available for selection on October 21st when Mauricio Pochettino welcomes the Gunners to Stamford Bridge in what is poised to be a blockbuster London derby. Football.London understands that it's currently too early to determine whether or not he'll be fit enough to face Arsenal on Saturday afternoon. The Cobham graduate, who served his one-match ban against Burnley last time out despite not being fit enough to play, is progressing well with his rehabilitation program, but the Blues are yet to make a final decision, Football.London understood last week. With match day just around the corner, Nathan Gissing journalist for Italian outlet Di Marzio has issued a fresh update. The report states that James has recently sustained a knock which a scan later adjudged him as fine. Gissing adds that the England international has been training alone, making him a doubt now for the Arsenal meeting. If James to miss the clash, then Malo Gusto is expected to fill in at right back after serving a three-match ban. Speaking to French publication RMC during the international break, the Frenchman insisted that he's ready for war and to fight for his spot in the Chelsea starting lineup ahead of his captain's return. Gusto said, we give each other a lot of advice. He tries to help me and I try to help him as best I can. Chelsea star Mikhailo Mudrik eased any injury concerns on Tuesday night as he featured for Ukraine men's national team against Malta. It came as the winger was a doubt for the international fixture, having limped off in the clash with North Macedonia days before. While his presence in the team was no doubt a boost, what followed for the £88 million signing was nothing short of magnificent. Late in the Malta clash, he picked up the ball by the halfway line, driving into central space and letting loose with a shot from outside the box that rifled into the back of the net. 
It was a stunning goal that got his account underway for the national team, following on from him getting off the mark for his club side too. That will no doubt help build confidence for a player that has needed it since joining Chelsea in January and being perpetually in the spotlight. His transfer played out in dramatic circumstances, having continually hinted at joining Arsenal before making the U-turn to join the Blues instead. The large price tag brought about extra eyes on a star that will take time to find his feet before reaching his potential for the club. Some poor performances followed, but a summer under new boss Mauricio Pochettino and a run of games has seen a glimpse into his capability. A first goal for the club will no doubt be a weight lifted from his shoulders, with his strike for his country likely to offer the same relief. With Mudrick, I like to play sometimes to hit the crossbar from outside the box, Pochettino said earlier this season on building up the confidence of the youngster. He said to me, I don't want to play anymore with you because you always win. Former Chelsea star Dwin Zenden has claimed that he doubts Mauricio Pochettino may get the time needed to build a competitive team. It comes after the Argentinian head coach has alleviated some early pressure he found himself under since taking the Stamford Bridge hot seat. In the first few weeks, there was some scrutiny for results as the Blues only managed to beat Luton Town in the Premier League and sat dangerously close to the relegation zones. Performances hadn't been quite as bad though, suggesting more was to come from the team. That is exactly what followed as a comfortable 2-0 victory away at London rivals Fulham was backed up by a 4-1 thrashing of Burnley. It has given a slightly more positive outlook to the campaign so far, even if Chelsea are still in the bottom half with 11 points from 8 games. I was telling you when we lost some games against Nottingham Forest and West Ham that we are building something, the manager said after victory over Burnley. We are a young group. We are a young team. It doesn't mean we have signed young players or experienced players. We're together and what happened in the summer, it's about a matter of time. We were performing very well, but of course players and individuals improved to add to the team a bit of quality. That is only with time to know each other and to start to perform. We start to recover players now because we suffered too many injuries. Also, it's going to help the team increase the level and the competition will be tough. Then it will be tough for me to select an 11, but it is a thing I love to do and I hope it happens soon. The tricky part may be navigating the run of fixtures that is about to hit them, with a number of very tough opponents on the cards. Arsenal are the first clash after the international break before a run of games that includes Tottenham, Manchester City, Newcastle, Brighton and Manchester United.